Okay, 702, I can describe a sequence of transformations that shows the congruence between two figures. So um, I actually want to go back to problem number five because that sort of falls under this topic, which asks this. Suppose you have a triangle with these vertices. If you reflected that triangle over the x-axis, what would the coordinates of the new vertices be? Okay, I'm going to draw a little sketch here. Let's say we have um, this triangle. And let's pretend this point is like 3, 1. This point here is 2, 4. I'm just making these up. This point here is negative 1, 1. If we flip that over the x-axis, this 2, 4 becomes 2, negative 4. This 3, 1 becomes 3, negative 1. And this negative 1, 1 becomes negative 1, negative 1. That's just a real sketch just for me to kind of think about what happens to the values. When you flip over the x-axis, you go from here to here with this particular problem, which means that the y values change signs. Nothing happened to the x values, just the y values change signs. So when you flip over the x-axis, the y values are multiplied by negative 1 just the y values. So this would become 37, negative 42, 25, positive 78, and this would become negative 84, negative 12. The only thing that changed are the signs of the y values. Okay. If you flipped over the y-axis, the x values would change signs. Okay. Problem number six. Surprised at how many people got this wrong. I think it was because of the order in which I wrote the problem. But it says, suppose you started at point four five. From there, you moved ten units, or excuse me, down ten units. That's y minus ten. Down is the y y axis, and right eight. That's x eight. Okay, so if we were going to write that as instructions, it's x plus 8, y minus 10. Okay, so we take 4 and we add 8 to it, that's 12. And we take 5 and we subtract 10 from it, negative 5. There's my answer. Okay, think about it. If we were at 4, 5, we're up here, down 10 units, so we're down to negative 5, and write 8 units, so we're at Okay. All right. Suppose you had this quadrilateral at these points. After a translation, the new figure W, X, Y, Z was at these points. What was the translation? Okay, so let's pick a point here. Let's take um, 3 and 2 and 34 and 57. So if I went from 3 to 34, I move 31 units to the right, so that's x plus 31, 31 to the right, okay, and here I have 2, and I end up at negative 57. That means I went down, well, I went down 2 to get to 0, and I went down another 57, so that's down 59. So. 59 down. So that's y minus 59. Okay. Now let's check with the other numbers. If I have 5 and I add 31, yes, I get 36. If I'm at 7 and I subtract 59, I should be at negative 52, yes. If I'm at 0 and I add 31, 
Yes. 7, subtract 59, I should be at negative 52. Yes. And you could check with um, the last point, and it also works. So that's it. A lot of arithmetic errors on that problem.